I just wanted to, I don't know where she is, who said that about the James Fry and the Oprah Winfrey. Hello. Um, just to set up the facts, I mean, Oprah Winfrey was an enormous fan of the book until there were two small incidents, not small, that had nothing to do with his experience in drugs that were uh, found out to be an exaggeration of his own place. However, when an Oprah Winfrey just continued to say, I support this book, I believe in the truth, until her fans wrote her letters and said, you don't care about truth. Then she asked James Fry to come. And I, as his publisher, was asked to be on the program. And I am a publisher, and I'm behind the desk and behind the curtains, and I don't belong in the front. And I didn't want to do it. And so finally, her producers said, we are going to have a program about truth in America. And I have invited two very well-known columnists, Frank Rich, of the New York Times and, um, and Richard Cohen of the Washington Post and the three of you are going to be on a panel and you are going to discuss this. As I was walking in, and so I said, all right, and my publisher said, yes, I should do this. I was from here to that door and a producer came up to me and said, I just want you to know that the program is not Truth in America, it's the James Fry controversy. And she, this was totally self-important. And James was told it's going to be very rough, but at the end, there will be redemption. And she verbally flayed him in public. And sometimes when I said, uh, Oprah, you know, I feel responsible of all this. I'd be willing to speak. From the moment I said that, she did not ask me another question. And at the end of it, she pulled James aside and said, I know it was rough, but it's just business. And so I really, really am bothered by the sanctimoniousness of Oprah Winfrey because it simply does not exist. And it's a business experience, and it's a celebrity experience. And she took someone whom she had elevated. I mean, his book had sold four million copies because of her enthusiasm until her fans say, you're not supporting the truth. And when she did that, she turned completely and made him, um, it was a public scourging. And it was, I mean, I was appalled just in terms of basic manners. And I think what Joyce has said about other sensibilities behind only truth, but there are other values in talking about family or whether it's, you know, do you have to carry the story of your mother all the way down into the degrading experiences it's not necessary and it's not a lie.